Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chasing 70 Degrees. My name is Travis and the weather has been absolutely beautiful here in Maryland, so time to get some video reviews done. So I'm gonna be reviewing the Rome Copilot phone holder for a mountain bike. And I guess you could put it on any kind of a bike, but I'm gonna be putting it on this Trek Marlin 5. Now, many of you may have seen the video that I did with my E-Cells e-bike. Now, this thing is 90 pounds, and that's probably being a little bit conservative. I put the Gub plus six on here, and this goes from 55 millimeters out to 100 millimeters. So that thing is die cast aluminum or metal. It's really, really rigid, and if you watch that video, you saw that I had to put uh, a ton of modifications just to get it to fit onto sort of the um, auxiliary bar that I put on there. Well, with the Trek Marlin 5, I'm not looking for something that big, that bulky, um, and that's stiff and rigid. And so I did some research and the Rome Copilot 5 seems to be a pretty good choice and a very popular choice out there among mountain bikers. So let me bring you in for a close up. Let's crack open the box, see what we've got. And then let's get it installed right here on this Trek Marlin 5. All right, so here we are for the close up of the Rome Copilot. And as you can see, uh, the box is pretty small. It shows you what should come in the box here. Uh, we've got sort of the uh, plastic connector. We've got the device that's going to connect up, mount you to the uh, handlebars. And then you've got like a little crank type thing up here. And one of the things I liked about uh, the box was that it gives you a quick rundown right here of all of the steps, right? So choose, this, choose uh, the one through three setting that fits your bike, rotate the mount into the optimum viewing position, twist that backing nut until the closure's tight, and then apply the silicone net to keep the phone in place. So let's go ahead and crack this open and let's see what we've got in here. And that's just, if you're wondering, that's an old iPhone 10. All right, well, it looks as if we've got two, or actually possibly three uh, silicone nets here. So they give you some different sizes. Uh, as you can see, we've got a large size and that's a small size. I'm assuming uh, that this is gonna be the just right or the uh, medium sized silicone net in there. Uh, and then here is the little crank that you get. Uh, and again, I've just got an old iPhone 10 right here uh, that we're gonna be going ahead and hooking up. So here is uh, another crank. So it looks like they actually give you two of these cranks. And it looks like that one may be a little bit longer uh, in case you've got a little thicker handlebar or you're putting it onto a thicker location uh, on the handlebar. So let's go ahead and let's get this uncranked up here. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is probably gonna to need to come all the way off. And let's fast forward this. All right, so we've got the, what's the word they're using, the backing nut. So we've got the backing nut out here. Uh, and now we just kind of have uh, the case and let's go ahead and get this guy installed here. And so again, um, this is the bracket into which we're gonna try to set that phone. And one of the things I like here is that it also kind of, both sides sort of stretch out here to kind of get it from uh, the sides. And then it's gonna be this silicone net that we're gonna pull up and over the phone uh, in order to really hold it into place. Although I gotta tell you, um, not that I would do this, but boy, this seems to be pretty stiff and I'm, Pretty confident that if you were to maybe lock this part in with the phone without the silicone netting that it might just do the job. So let's go ahead, let's get onto the handlebars and see uh, which one of these uh, backing nuts we're gonna have to use, whether it's gonna be the longer one or the shorter one. And let's see what this looks like with an iPhone 10 wrapped in there. And one thing I forgot to mention, you may have thought, boy, that looks awfully tight in there. This piece actually drops out. You'll see these teeth right here. Uh, it's got these teeth right here where it was initially all the way up here on the very first tooth. You can bring it down here and then, you know, depending on how thick the handlebar is and where you're going to mount that, all the way down on the third one. So again, let's jump onto the handlebar, see which one's going to work best for us, and then let's get this bad boy locked down. All right, so here we are. And I went ahead and put it on the very bottom rung in terms of those teeth that were in here. And let me see if I can get this turn. In terms of the teeth that were in there, I put it on the very, very bottom, and I like to have it right here, kind of as close to the center as possible. Uh, and I'll give you a measurement here in a second of how thick the bar is right there. 
Now I've left the default uh, silicone web thing here on there uh, for my iPhone. We'll see how that works. It might work well, it might not. Now, one of the things I really like is this sort of rotating ball that's here. So you can kind of move this around and get it into the position that you wanna have it in. And then on the back side of it, you can literally just kind of crank it down and lock it into place. And I'm gonna take this out on the road and give it a test and see how much movement there is. And so if I was to go ahead and kind of straighten it out there and then kind of lock this down. And that's pretty tight right there. I'm definitely getting some resistance. And then let me make sure I tweak this down here. And I came, I used the extra long um, uh, screw thing here to connect this to the handlebars. And I'm kind of coming up from the bottom. I figured it would be easier to adjust things by doing it from the bottom and coming up. So you'll see uh, that the screw is sticking out here. Uh, Cause again, I came from the bottom up and to me, that's gonna make uh, the most sense. And so here we go, we've got the webbing, we've got everything installed that's on here nicely. And so now let's grab that iPhone 10. Uh, and I've got no case on this. Now, uh, this is just something that I use uh, to control a drone that I have. And so if we were to, whoops, the bike almost falling out of the way there. So if we were to go ahead and drop this in there, and like I said, I gotta tell you, I mean that, I'm, I'm kind of tugging. I could see where, yeah, this is, you know, if you were to hit some big jumps or some big bumps, that that would come out. But at the end of the day, the pressure that the side um, controllers here or the side uh, clamps are putting on it is pretty nice, right? And so then let's go ahead and get this corner here in and then we'll pull and get a corner down here and around. And this is definitely in there. It's gonna be interesting to see if it stays in there. Uh, and I've got a GoPro on top of my helmet. So there it is, right? So let's go ahead, let's take it out and uh, let's see what kind of movement we get with it. And there aren't too many big jumps around here. There is like a dirt trail. Uh, so maybe I'll float out onto the dirt trail real quick and then we'll bring it back into the garage here and finish things up. All right, so as you can see, the Rome Copilot held up pretty well. Again, no massive jumps. The phone, I didn't notice any movement of the phone, either forward and backward or to the left and to the right. Again, these clamps that are here, very, very sturdy. Uh, and the only thing I needed to do a little bit, and I think that was on, on me, was I needed to spin this a little bit more, tighten it up a little bit more, and I cranked a few more cranks here on the uh, clamp to try to, to try to keep that clamp uh, in place. But as you can see, this is definitely for casual mountain biking. Uh, this is probably not something that you're going to need to babysit while you're out on the trail. And this is going to do exactly what I need it to do, right? Just a nice cell phone holder. Uh, the only go back would be, and you know, I don't know any people that uh, don't have a case for their cell phone. 
uh, but that was something I noticed, sort of the default silicone web um, component right here. The only recommendation is for iPhone 10 anyway, is I would probably go with the, uh, the smaller silicone webbing uh, with a phone that doesn't have um, a case. But you know, most people have cases, so that is probably gonna be uh, right in the sweet spot right here. Again, there's a much larger one that comes with it as well. So I love the value adds that the Rome Copilot throws in there for you. Uh, and again, I mean, this is, this is pretty sturdy right in there, just as it is. Add the webbing and it did a great job. And you guys saw the trails that I hit and I hit them pretty good, uh, but you know, minor bumps, nothing crazy. All right, let's go ahead and let's wrap this up. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And the Rome Copilot, I'm definitely gonna give this a big thumbs up. It was exactly what I was looking for. Casual mountain biker, nothing crazy, no X Games going on here at my age. So this is gonna do exactly what I needed to do. Hold my phone in place, silicone webbing, really nice construction, you know, really low profile as well. Clasps right onto the bar. And let me actually get you a measurement for the bar. All right, so we've got the trusty tape measure here. So where I mounted that, it's gonna be about four, yeah, it's, it's exactly four inches, right? So my bar is exactly four inches thick right where I mounted it. Again, I mounted it on the very last tooth at the bottom. There were three settings that you can use. So four inch tube here on the handlebar, third setting on the Rome Copilot, and work like a champ. And again, I use the longer um, screw here in order to sort of clamp it down. Maybe I could get away with the second rung and the shorter um, uh, the clasp that would screw on there, but I'm happy with the way it looks right now. And that's it. So as always, thanks so much for watching and enjoy the chase.